Going face to face with the world's most venomous snakes is no easy task, unless you're this guy. Chandler has almost 2 million subscribers with these crazy animals by his side. Plus, he has a very weird relationship with his camel. Chandler and his pet dog. Today, we toured his property, finding some of the most dangerous and venomous animals in the world. I'll leave you alone, buddy. I'm sorry. Don't do as I do. Just watch. But let's get into this and see what Chandler's got. Let's go feed Kameo. Oh, wow. Kameo Humphrey. <laughs> His name is Kameo. Kameo. It, it's like Kamejo is um, Spanish for camel, but I'm saying it a little different. I've never seen a camel in real life. For real? No. Dude, and he's only like just over two months old right now. He's a baby. So where does this guy come from? Where do you get a camel? Well, these guys come from the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia, Egypt, all those places. But oh, here in America, my. you can actually get them as an agricultural animal. So there's no permit in Florida. He's just considered like a cow. Wow. <laughs> you just let him bite the, the nipple and then you tilt it. Okay. You come want the nipple or you just want to play? You want the nipple? You want the nipple? Come on, let him grab the nipple. There you go, now tilt it. Perfect. This is like what you'd give a baby elephant, a giant bottle like I that. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm, I'm milking, look. I'm hand milking, or what would that be called? Well, you're not milking him. He, <laughs> he's got nipples, but he's a boy. Yeah. Grab him right here and you hug him like this and he loves it. Come here. Give him give a full hug. hug. Just grab him like a big give puppy. Give me a hug. Grab him, love him. Mm. Look, look inside his mouth. He, oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, if you look inside his mouth, he, you can see he's got these like prehensile lips like a rhino, and those are used to grab vegetation. But if you look inside his mouth, he has no top teeth. Oh, wow. He has a plate. That plate is hard, and they use the bottom jaw to crush cactus pads onto the top jaw to grind down those spikes so he can bring it down to his stomach. That makes sense. And then he'll digest it, bring it into the next stomach, and then they'll actually regurgitate the food like uh, deer or cows, and they'll do what's called cud chewing, which is when they relax, and they re-chew their food and then swallow it back down. Super gross, found that out after I bought him. <laughs> and the otter so was here awesome. today, he was killing fish. Oh yeah, is he your pet otter or just a random one? He's just a wild otter that's been coming here for two years now. Ah, uh, he's my buddy. They eat a lot of fish. Yeah, he used to come here every day and kill like a crap ton of fish. Oh, snake. Snake? Right here. See it? Oh yeah, a little ring snake. Little ring neck snake. This is actually a rear fanged, mildly venomous snake, but their fangs are so small, they can't really pierce the skin. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, it's just venom that will demobilize like a little frog or a worm. Want me to? Yeah. Want to go back under yeah, that's there and do his job, eat some frogs? Pretty insane. Well, I guess the Paku aren't coming up. Whatever. I got giant crocodiles. You want to go feed them? Yeah, let's go Let's go feed some giant crocodiles. Let's do it. Oh, what? Oh, I've seen this one. That one's aggressive, huh? That's the one that bit my leg. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I had to remove her from a muddy quarry hole, which was just nasty, murky hole of water. And she was in there with her boyfriend. We got her boyfriend first. And then I went in there and got her out and I got tagged on the leg. She had her head in between my legs and she popped me. I'm 25, I've been doing this since I was a little kid. I used to do gator wrestling shows like every week. I used to put my head in a gator's mouth. So really? like knock on wood, this is the worst thing I've ever had. In this enclosure, it's beautiful. we have Miss Toothy, the Cuban crocodile. She's the one that bit my leg. Miss Toothy, what's up baby? Cuban crocodiles are actually the only crocs out there that have curved teeth like a velociraptor. So when they walk onto something, it's not getting out. Boyfriend, but, um, girlfriend? Yeah, so he's a Nile crocodile hybrid. And what's so special about him is that he was one of the first crocs I worked with when I was a little kid. We had him in our alligator wrestling pit on the Indian reservation where I first started when I was like 13 years old. And then eventually that place closed down. And then this guy went to a sanctuary where he was paired up with her. And previously she killed eight of her past boyfriends. He was the biggest one, so he survived her wrath. Makes Should sense. I go in there and feed one? Oh gosh, here we go. Oh gosh, this is Chandler, Chandler's wildlife, guys. Want some food, Miss Toothy? Come Look on, Miss Toothy, one at a time. One at a time. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy. Good boy. <laughs> Big boy? Big boy? Woo! <laughs> You're naughty. You're a naughty crocodile. Oh, oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> there we go, oh, there we go. <laughs> Happy crocodile. And he's got nice white teeth now. When we picked him up, he had rotten teeth that were falling out. And now he's got all these big, beautiful white teeth. And that's they what a good diet, dude. giving them whole bodied prey items, bones, guts, everything. It's super important because they go through thousands of teeth yeah. like sharks do. Yeah. So in one lifetime, they can go through a thousand.
This is the world's smallest crocodilian. It's called a Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Let me make sure. Oh it's... yeah, there he is. There we go. Ah, look at this. Oh, what? How cool is that? That is so, so cool. So these guys only get about five feet long and they live in the Amazon in the rainforest. And if you look, they have little to no webbing on their feet because they just walk around at night in the forest looking for snails to eat. So they're mostly terrestrial. They don't grow as fast as a croc does. So like, I'll show you this, look at this. This is a broad snouted caiman right here. Woo, look at that. So pretty dude. How cool what is this? The... It's like a jaguar pattern, right? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. So these guys will actually get like six feet long as a female, almost eight foot as a male. And she's like four, five years old now. So the growth rate of a caiman's a lot slower. Yeah. Whereas like something like saltwater croc, which is the world's biggest reptile, they grow huge. I have yeah. one that's almost this size and he's two years old. He's in this tub, I'll show you him in a second. So she bit me real quick on the top of my thumb and really did a number. The gators and the caiman are in the same part of the crocodilian family. So they only have sensory organs on their face to detect vibration. Whereas the saltwater crocodile or any crocodile species, they're more equipped to find food they actually have dots on every scale oh. of their body. So if you look at the belly of this croc, <laughs> there's a dot on every scale near the cloaca, the legs, the tail, the sides. So he has a sonar all over his body. He's like a submarine. Dude, that is insane. He's a saltwater croc. Saltwater Australian croc. saltwater croc. Yeah, they do get huge. But they also come from Southeast Asia and they used to be found all the way on the edge of India. Handsome, look at those teeth. Guys, I do want to mention real quick, if you want to do exactly what we're doing, touring all these exotic animals, I'm going to have Chandler's link in the description down below to his YouTube channel and also to his private tours. It's insane. And even feed massive crocodiles and alligators. Go back, let's go. Come on. <laughs> so Chobi, was gonna get killed and shot on a hunting ranch. We gave him a home, or I gave him a home. Choby. So this is Choby, he's a rescue gator. Hold, hold, hold. We're starting to get him trained. He was wild just two months ago, <laughs> two months ago. And uh, this alligator was destined for a hunting ranch. So nuisance gators, after they're four feet long and they're caught, they can't be released back into the wild so they can go into a zoo where most of the time they get put down for their meat and their skin because people can make money off of it. If they send, hold, Hold, if they send this gator to a hunting ranch, they can sell its uh, skin and head and everything for a hunt for five to $25,000, depending on how big the gator is. Damn. Oi, don't catch attitude with me, buddy. You ready? Open, go. Open. Good boy. <laughs> Good, and it's gone. gone. Just like that, it's gone. We'll do it His one more time. His head is so thick. Like, compared to the, the crocodiles, you could tell he's just so much wider. And Yeah, he's bigger than Ares. He's got yeah. a bigger head than him. Open. There you go. Good oh, boy. Oh, got that one. Good, good boy. Good catch, Toby. And I'm going to have to give him a good scrub. He's getting all this algae built up on him, but he's a beautiful alligator. So beautiful, dude. Happy boy. <laughs> Come here, baby. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. Mm. I love you. Chandler and his pet dog. This room has to be locked and labeled and approved by FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife. Every year I have multiple inspections for my crocodiles, for my venomous snakes. They keep an inventory of everything I have, whether, whether something's born, something dies, something gets you traded to somebody else, they have, they have to be completely transparent. So I have government permits to have these animals and I treat it very seriously because the most venomous snakes on the planet they're no joke, they're dangerous, they can kill you. Wow. My parents said move out and you, when you get your own place and get your animals, well, I moved out and I got my own place, so. <laughs> I feel that. You wanna see Kevin the King Cobra? Yeah, let's, oh my God. So he's in this enclosure right here. Kevin's got a bigger room than I do. We'll see if I can uh, get him out. Oh, hey buddy. Chandler, be careful, brother. We love This him, is his man. tail. This is the world's biggest venomous snake. Woo! This is a king cobra. They eat other snakes, including the monocled cobras, and they can get 18 feet. So guys, that's a king cobra. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. It's one of the world's deadliest snakes. And as you can see, Chandler has a 15 foot one. Look at the enclosure that 
you know, Chandler has for his animals. I mean, they're not small. They are beautifully put together and boy, as natural as possible. I mean, this it's this okay. King Cobra here has his whole room. It's okay, but I mean, it's mulch on the bottom, live plants throughout the enclosure. It's amazing. Look at that, oh, baby monocled cobras. Monocled means uh, the O on the back of their hood. So uh, people would sometimes have one glass for one uneven eye for eyesight. Yep. So it's called a monocle and they have a monocle on the back of their hood. Makes and sense. then there's the Indian cobra, which has a pair of glasses on the back of its hood, and it's called a spectacle cobra as well. So mm. there's the monocled and there's the spectacle. Look at this guy, he's hooding. He's starting to show off a little monocle. That's awesome. You're gonna show off a little monocle? I saw it. Come here. Come here. Leucistic cobra. Wow. Really pretty oh snake. So clean looking white. How about that? Almost translucent. How big will um about six foot monocled cobra. Foot. This is actually the same type of cobra I showed you in the beginning, the babies, but this is leucistic. Wow. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. Same. Can't do too much with her, she'll bite you. I'm honestly starting to uh, really like these king cobras. Yeah, aren't snakes awesome? Oh, dude, so That's the cool. whole point of this, for you to fall in love with snakes and crocs. Yeah, I was, I walked in here, not a massive fan of snakes. I'm now leaving here, like, I may get one. No, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. I'll leave you alone, buddy, I'm sorry. Don't do as I do, just watch. <clears throat> you wanna hold the world's biggest, uh, the world's fattest snake? Heaviest snake, the green anaconda. You have a green anaconda. Yeah, yeah, I have green anacondas and I have yellow anacondas. The green ones are the friendly ones. The yellow ones are not too friendly. This is my female I've been wow. raising up. She's friendly, she doesn't even bite. Come here. Green anaconda, how cool dude. So sick. How pretty. Imagine to see one of these 18 oh foot in the I've bush one day. I've always wanted one of these, but yeah, they do get massive. Yeah. This is what, the, the world's heaviest, heaviest snake. snake. Yeah. The world's longest snake is the reticulated python getting upwards to 25 feet long. And they're responsible for eating one person per year in Asia. Now these guys, they love to eat the capybara, which is the world's largest rodent. Mm -hmm. And those things are the size of golden retrievers. Yep. These guys eat caiman, which are the cousins of the alligator, and they can eat them upwards to 70 feet long. And these guys are powerful. They constrict their prey until it cannot breathe anymore. It suffocates and then they swallow it whole. Chandler, black mamba, bro? Dude, there's a 10 foot black mamba behind you. She stretched out a second ago. What would be um, considered more venomous, black mamba or king cobra? Black mamba, drop for drop. Yeah. King cobra just has more venom. Gotcha. The reason they're so dangerous is because they'll put you in toxicity overload where your body can't process that many toxins and your organs can't process it like your liver and your kidneys. <laughs> Um, the mamba drop oh, for drop is more potent neurotoxic venom. So it just takes a little bit to knock you on your ass and kill you. So this is Justina. Justina is an Indonesian king cobra. This is the world's longest species of venomous snake. King cobras can get 18 feet, just like Kevin. This one's a female. She's very cranky, and you're gonna notice her personality is drastically different from Kevin. She growls. That's what King Cobras are famous for. She growls? Yeah, they have a modified trachea, like no other snake on the planet, that allows oh, she's them big. to growl. Oh my gosh, she is growling. Chandler is a trained professional. Do not try this at home. I feel like there's moments she could have bitten you, but she didn't like want to. It's not that she didn't want to, it's how I reacted to her reacting. I see, Because okay. if I move a certain way, I'm getting her to react. If I stay still, she's not gonna react. Mm. So when I move out of the way, I can see her getting ready to strike. So I move out of the way and then she strikes. Yeah. So it's just predicting what's gonna happen next. It's predictability allowing me to do this. And that only comes with a decade experience. of experience doing yeah. this kind of stuff. Makes sense. Even people have been doing it a long, long, long time can't do stuff like that. And yeah. I'm not tuning my own horn, it's just you really have to be in tune with these animals to be able to get away with stuff like that. I grew 100%. up doing alligator shows and snake shows and I've always been a showman, so I've always done like really crazy stuff. I got a big old glove on, Chandler just threw me it. I don't know why, we're gonna find out here. Oh my gosh. Just keep it like, like hammer fisted, there you go. Up, 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 tight, 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 there you go. And be comfortable, I raised him from a baby, he's a good boy. Okay. Bagoy. How cool. Eurasian Bagoy. Eagle Owl. 
the wow. second largest owl on the planet, and they have upwards to 750 PSI in their talons. They can hunt hawks, other species of owl, weasels, rats, rabbits, even foxes, red foxes, weasels, everything. So your Asian eagle owls are also known to eat feral cats, just to show you how big they get. So he's from Asia. He's from the top of Africa, Europe, and all of Asia. So they're called Eurasian eagle owls, and they're found in Hungary in Europe, and I'm half Hungarian, and his name is Bogoy, which means owl Bogoy. in Hungarian. And you notice he doesn't have black doll's eyes like a barn owl or barred owl. Barn owls and barred owls have all black eyes for a completely nocturnal hunting, whereas he has these orange yellowish eyes that's called crepuscular vision, so he can hunt during the day and at night. And these guys have been actually known to interrupt soccer games in Europe, land on the goalie post, and they have to stop the whole game. Really? Yeah. Wait, look at his little hair on the, or feathers on his, uh, his talons. Uh, talons there. Yeah, and you see he's got these crazy feet. The birds have what's called zygodactyl feet, so two toes on each side for gripping. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Absolutely crazy experience. Like I said, if you guys wanna do this yourself, all you have to do is click the links in my description. Also, what's it, what's? what's Chandlerswildlife.com. Chandler, Chandlerswildlife.com you can go to and also book a tour there. But big thank you to Chandler. He has a really big YouTube channel that you guys can check out and watch all these animals yourself. So Chandler. Give me a hug, brother. Give thank me a you, hug. brother. With Good the owl. You. Look Good at this. See you. <laughs> With that being said, guys, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. You. See you.